G-S-H-A-H. Gita Shah and her husband, parents of three, did it right, but still ended up at the food bank to supplement their food stamps. They tell you go to school, get your degree, and those careers will be open, and they weren't. She has a psychology degree from no less than UC Berkeley, and her husband has a full-time job. But burdened with crushing student loan debt, it's not enough for the family of five. There is a sense of feeling dependent, and that's not something I don't think any of us want to feel. Shaw's unpaid full-time job now is at home. We homeschool, and that's a full-time job in and of itself. And for the first time ever, households headed by working-age people are the largest users of food stamps. One food bank staff veteran sees it every day. Fifteen years ago, it was mostly homeless and single parents. and Now, today, it's uh, everybody. Working families, both of them working, um, uh, and they still can't make it. It keeps us afloat, and at the end of the day, that's what we really need. Part of it is because there has been some cuts recently to the food stamp program, and we're actually looking at possibly some more cuts. The mayor, who helps hand out the bags, says it's bigger than mayors, governors, even presidents. Concord does represent the working middle class and how that uh, we are a testament of the widening gap between haves and have-nots. A half century ago, President Lyndon Johnson said that the war on poverty he started is a war we surely could win. It has turned out to be the longest war in U.S. history. Tom Vacar, KTVU Channel 2 News.